everyone and uh, welcome to module 2. This week we will talk about hygiene and of course we are going to start with a little bit of vocabulary. Today we will go over a few vocabulary items related to medical hygiene in general but more specifically to hand hygiene including hand hygiene products, hand hygiene practices, hand rubbing and hand washing. In the next slides you will see some definitions. I will not read all of them but as we go through the slides pay attention to words and expressions that are glossed either in red or in bold. Those are the vocabulary focus of this module. Let's start with medical hygiene practices. They include quarantine or isolation, sterilization of instruments, proper bandaging or dressing of injuries like what you see on the picture here, use of protective clothing and barriers such as the cap, the gown here, the gloves, the mask and the eyewear. We have also disinfection of reusables such as bed sheets, pillowcases, uniforms, etc. And we have scrubbing up and hand washing, which are our main focus in this presentation. Let's move now to hand hygiene and what our hands are carrying. We have what is called resident flora, which are microorganisms that are deep seated, difficult to remove. They are part of the body's natural defense mechanism and uh, they are associated with infection following surgery or invasive procedures. These are the resident flora. Some of them are part of our defense mechanism. And then we have the transient flora which are superficial, they are transferred with ease to and from hands. Import, they are important cause of cross infection and they are easily removed with good hand hygiene. So our target when we wash our hands or when we hand rub is to eliminate these, to eliminate the transient flora. So, hand hygiene includes routine hand washing, just regular hand washing, surgical hand scrub or hand washing, and the use of alcohol rubs or gels. <music> 